Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. All right, when we left off, we were meeting the, well, division heads, not, I was about to say department heads, and that's not right, <laughs> for the Institute, because, well, we're entertaining the idea that our son, who is the father in the Institute, still baffling, is uh, wanting us to join him in making sure the Institute succeeds. To knock some heads together. Oh. They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Sounds like you're just trying to strong arm all the other departments there, bud. That's it's not a way to continually run a department, Justin. Excuse me, Doctor. So here you are. Yeah. Mayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Are you? Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. Well, I'm I would sure hope so. Understand. There won't be any issues will there well why don't you trust me i'll be honest you're an outsider the yeah. first outsider to be allowed Duh. access to the institute in quite a long time in fact there's little precedent for this situation so it's only natural to take extra precaution hmm? it's that's fair crazy. i guess okay i assure you now, well has asked it I better not be with a brief overview of the synth retention our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Hmm. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. If they... As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Okay. Our main instrument is the Courser. A third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. That's the way to look at it, sure. Reclaimed synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. What I gather, you know uh -huh. this, since you've encountered one already. Yeah. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Well, I mean. <laughs> I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, yeah. a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, well, I mean, need something that's a good idea. Work. I mean, if... You yeah, you said you were acting at the ESRB. Who were you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. Oh. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more... High profile units. Yeah, Zimmer's, Zimmer's in uh, the Capital Wasteland at this time, I think. Justin. What do you want? And please make it quick. Uh, at least he showed up in Fallout 3, so around this time frame he's uh, out in the Capital Wasteland or somewhere close. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, traits, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Traits. Meaning synth production is essentially random. So, and yet he dismissed, he dismissed the notion, dismissed, <laughs> he dismissed the notion that it is entirely possible for synths to want to escape, when apparently they are close enough similar to humans that they have individual traits that can just pop up out of nowhere during production. Wouldn't they... That insinuates it isn't 
pre-programmed in before they start making them. It's just a random grab bag. Much like, well, regular human genetics. And yet he dismisses the notion that they would want to escape. Huh. Yeah, the Institute is, uh, kind of filled with, uh, nut jobs. If they can just so easily dismiss that sort of thing, even though they know that that's how it works. <laughs> because they're the ones creating them, they think that they know better. Yeah. Uh, it's over my head, man. That's over my pay grade. Dr. Ayo. Yes? What do you need? Yeah, um... I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Yeah. Fine. Once a Courser has okay. located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. Okay. And then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. Ooh. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Dispose of the unit entirely. Oh, wow. Okay. So, you tinker with their minds after they've already run away because they don't want to be here, clearly. And you don't seem to think that they want anything. So, then you tinker with their brains to help, or at least try to make them forget that they were ever on the surface in the first place to try their try to eliminate their want to do that again even though you say it isn't a want and if it doesn't work out you then have to kill it ooh ooh boy oh I've gone cross-eyed with the mental gymnastics necessary to make that fucking thought process work. Um. Mmm. Alright. Um. Okay, then. Yeah, if, if the, uh, Institute bites it, I'm, I'm not necessarily all that sad. I mean, if we can rescue Sean, that'd be good. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff right here. Look at that. <laughs> That's a significant amount of stuff. Oh, and of course a uniform. How about that? A couple of cool things there. Uh, synth, re synth relay grenade. The fuck does that mean? Like, throw them on the relay and then they get sent here? What? weird okay take one of those take one of those simply because I want to I have every right to damn it the fuck is oh there's a whole thing down here even huh I can talk to you hey we're all looking forward to working with you well that's that's good to hear a lot excuse me I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. Yeah, I bet. to be able to with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. That's a good point. What's Justin doing that's causing friction? I, oh, I could tell what he's thing. doing. He thinks his problem should be everyone's biggest concern. Yeah. I have to admit, though, the other divisions have never taken our needs as seriously as they should. I guess they see yeah. us as a necessary evil or something. It's really not fair. Oh, just listen to me. It's the first chance we've had to get acquainted, and all I want to do is complain. Hey, I do it too. Case, I bitch. It's fine. It's 
Good to meet you Alana. too. Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Yeah, well, it's understandable, I guess. So they consider it a malfunction, not, you know, a gen general actual desire. That's, wow, that's some mental uh, flexibility you gotta have to come up with that idea. Alright, well, I've learned what I needed to know about the Synth Retention Bureau. That's, uh, that it's a hellhole. That's shit. Alright, well, I guess the next department is up. So, uh, let's, no, wait, no. It's right here in bioscience. I could have sworn I was already in bioscience. Huh. All right, well, let's go in. Bioscience. What the hell is over there? Warwick. So I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. What? A what? A, they actually know anything about people on the surface, which is astounding. Um... Apparently, they do actually have synths up there that are actually spying on people. Um, I assume someone around Warwick is a synth. And um, the fact that they don't even want to think about the fact that there are actual real-life people up there. Apparently, I'm assuming that the other doctor is the norm in this case and Isaac, if that was his name, uh, is the minority at least in that thought process that some don't even want to think about the fact that there are actually people up there suffering so that way they can focus on the task at hand but I think Isaac has the right idea is how can you deign to speak on their plight and trying to help them if you're not even willing to admit that there's a problem that needs to be fixed for them I don't know I don't know it seems like the entirety of the Institute is just to not rooted in reality to actually think of actual real world solutions to a lot of the problems the wasteland has instead they're thinking of solutions that they don't need and in fact are actually absolutely not what they want yeah that's that's analogous to something <laughs> I'm not going to say what. I make too many jokes about it as it is. Alright, so, Institute Scientist. Before I talk to them, I want to see if there's any other named P. Pull? Dr. Hi. You're going to have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. It's fair. <laughs> You're here. Glad you made it. Um... Did they... 
bring gorillas down here? What? Most men lack the patience to observe and document plant growth. Yeah, I bet. Doctor. Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. Come on, man! Someone's a little full of himself. Hardly. There is no place for ego in science. I'm simply trying to tell you in as polite a manner as possible that I am busy. Uh-huh. Now, goodbye. Right. Well, thank you for that, I guess. Telling me you're busy. Alright, where's the other guy? The department head, there we go. Division head, damn it, I keep doing that. Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Yeah, I bet. Head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I've been seeing some of it. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. Oh, you probably yeah. saw the gorillas. They're really just oh. a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. So they're not... Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Yeah, okay. Speaking only okay. for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. Yeah! I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as So a they person, are synthetic. But I okay. have asked. They're Have not you decided whether real. You'll join us? Um, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision. Yeah. I know, but it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. That's true. Case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around, or if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Well, I mean. I can now fast travel to and from the Institute. Alrighty. Is there anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. Huh. Dr. Holdren. Something I can do for you? Tell me more about those synth gorillas. Yeah, I, I kind of want to know. I'd say they were a success. Oh, we're not doing that one. does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Okay. Fortunately... We had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They that destroyed is two of their matching with the data. So Whoa. now we destroyed keep them in isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Yeah, about Wait, that. Anything I can help you? They. That is surprising that they destroyed them, unless they were the first gen, those like skeleton robot-looking things, which would make sense. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. Dean He's Volkert. our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Oh, yeah, Dr. that guy. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever I think you I saw him already. Yeah. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. I've, I've seen some pretty good doctors. So, I mean, I, I would hope that you're right on that. Okay, so... Now that it seems I can pop in and out of the Institute at will now. Completing institutionalized. Let's me, uh, whoa. Didn't realize there'd be armed guards walking around. Oh boy, this does not Six look good. Unit. You were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB last night. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report, sir. I carried out my duties. As usual. Dr. Ao saw you accessing a terminal. You know you are not permitted to access terminals in that section. Is Dr. Ao mistaken? Yes. I mean, no, he's not. But I was only... What is it? Were you or weren't you accessing a terminal in SRB? I was, but I swear it's not what it sounds like. I was cleaning the terminal and it, it switched on by mistake. I was just shutting it down. Was that a stutter? Have you developed a defect, unit? Maybe you need to be reset. Sir, I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. You don't want me to tell you twice. Now get back to your duties. What the fuck? 
You SS sounding motherfucker! Jesus. I'll take that. Also, wow! The fuck? The hell is going on with these fucking scents? Jesus Christ, also, there's a mess everywhere I walk around here. Jesus. I'll try and clean this up. But in the meantime, I'm thinking I should end the episode here for right now because there is. There's. Did you turn off the interferometer? Well, I mean, definitely turned off your face by slamming that into it. Okay. <laughs> it was unintentional, I swear. Alright, uh. Now I'm gonna continue on with, uh going back to Sanctuary and ending the episode. Ah, oh, I still haven't gone to Grey Garden yet? I'll have to fix that. Uh, in the next episode. Here's hoping, right? Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and running around the institute finding out that there's some really shitty things going on on top of the fact that well i mean some of these people aren't entirely thinking in reality anymore and when you're that detached from reality how can you really blame them for you